nitrogen cycle. The nitrogen cycle. The nitrogen cycle. The nitrogen cycle. Nitrogen makes up 78% of our air. It can't be used straight for nutrients, but don't despair. There is a way that nature converts it to be used. We call it the nitrogen cycle. Don't get confused. The nitrogen cycle. The nitrogen cycle. This cycle has five main areas. They all have similar names, so you kind of get hysteria. Fixation, nitrification, then there's assimilation. Now I have two more. Ammonification, denitrification. Now see here, fixation is where we're going to start. It turns into ammonia. Man, it's art. This is achieved by nitrogen fixing bacteria. Nothing seems to rhyme with this, so uh, Nigeria. N2 plus H2 gets NH3. It kind of makes no sense, but don't disagree. Fixation is what the gangsters talk about. You wish you were us, but you're not, so shut your mouth. The nitrogen cycle. The nitrogen cycle. Nitrification is what we're going to talk next. You might say that this is a little less complex. Soy converts ammonia to an ion of nitrate and being extracted up by a plant is its fate. And soon after this, we've got assimilation, where the plant takes the ions and makes a new creation like amino acids, proteins, and DNA. Animals eat the plants and be like, yay, yay. Ammonification is a little bit macabre. Soy gets nitrogen back, backed by dead bods. This all decomposes into inorganic compounds. Trust, I too found this a bit profound. The nitrogen cycle. The nitrogen cycle. The nitrification is last but not least. This part is the most complicated, like a beast. First, the nitrogen leaves the earth. It's kind of like it's going back to where it was at birth. How? What? How? Oh, the ammonia is converted back to N2O. And thus ends our amazing gangsta tale. We shed some knowledge on you, so now you won't fail. The nitrogen cycle. The nitrogen cycle. The nitrogen cycle. The nitrogen cycle.